Hello and welcome to a special episode of Life as a Graphic Designer and Content Creator in LA who is trying to end her social media addiction. Lately, I've been feeling a little restless, like something has to change. I'm just tired of feeling like I'm tied to my phone. I don't even enjoy the act of scrolling. And summer is here, I don't want to waste this beautiful season refreshing my apps. I know that a big, big part of my job is on social media. I literally get 99.9% .9 of my clients from there, but it feels like sometimes I'm just letting life pass me by, like my whole world is confined to this tiny object. I decided to try to keep my phone usage to under an hour a day, and in the meantime, I wanted to swap that screen time for other creative fulfilling activities like reading or cooking or doing anything else really. Day one. It's going well. I haven't checked my phone in several hours. It's literally just in another room. I have been so productive. I have just been editing my videos, getting all my work done. I had a meeting with a potential client and it went really well, so I'm hoping we kick off soon. I haven't checked Instagram today and I can kind of like feel myself like itching to check it. I know my thumb just wants to scroll a little bit, but I'm not gonna let that happen today. Today we had a really interesting start because at 6.47 in the morning I was jolted awake by the fire alarm. Couldn't really go back to sleep after that so I just went to the gym, walked for like 40 minutes, took a shower and then joined my 9am meeting with Hyper. So it was actually like a pretty productive morning. But yeah, it's like 4pm now and I've been working like straight ever since. Haven't, haven't left this living room situation once. I got a very exciting package from Sticker Mule. Look at this. These are my stickers that I made for my reading room, my little book club segment that I'll do occasionally, hopefully. I really like how they turned out. I have 50 to give out and I only have like five friends, so I think I'm gonna do a little giveaway. Hello everyone, I'm out here getting my daily dose of sunlight on my porch. It is like 4.30. As you can probably tell, there are sounds of children splashing around playing in the pool behind me. This has been happening quite a bit. And at first I was like, what? Like, don't they have school? Don't they have classes? And I realized it's summer. It's literally summer. They do not have classes. So every single day they will probably be out here having fun. And I'm gonna feel this kind of like FOMO, like, oh, maybe I should be by the pool. I almost didn't come out here today because I had so much work to do, but I feel like it's almost criminal not to come out here and enjoy the sun for a little bit. How lame is it to be like, oh no, I have to, I have to design an infographic instead of just sitting in the sun for like 10 minutes. I, I would like to check my phone. I've been kind of picking it up unconsciously and like turning it on and then realizing, oh, I can't, I can't really do that right now. We're chugging along. All right, I'm just gonna sit here for a little bit, think about nothing, be present, and then go back to work. U.S. is not interesting to anyone, right? I'm down for Florida. I like Florida. I mean, I'm down to go to another place in the U.S. <laughs> in addition to lowering my screen time, I have decided that this will just officially be the summer of play. Now, what does that mean? It means cooking new recipes, trying out new hobbies, allowing yourself to experiment with activities that you might be interested in. Me personally, I've always wanted to get into 3D design for the last couple of years, but I've just never really known how to get into it. But I am finally working up the courage to do it. I am using this free program called WOMP, and I'm super, super excited to be partnering with them on today's video. WOMP is a super intuitive 3D creation engine that can run for free on any browser, no heavy downloads or expensive graphic cards necessary. I love using WOMP because it's super intuitive and easier than any other 3D program I've tried. You can just goop objects together and easily apply hundreds of cool materials. So I'm declaring this the summer of exploring and mixing different mediums and trying out that hobby you've been thinking about. Check out WOMP to start designing in 3D today. Good morning. Good morning. 
Okay, I have a confession to make. I checked Instagram last night before I went to bed. It was because I needed to find a trending audio because I wanted to post something today. I was I was on there for like maybe five minutes and it just felt bad. Like I, I felt yucky. So I said, you know what? It's not the end of the world if I don't post this week. And I just closed the app, slept in a little, did some meditation, worked out. And now I'm going to shower and then get to work. I have a few things due for Hyper today. It's been a pretty busy Hyper week. Can't show you anything I'm working on for them. I have a feeling I'm gonna be filming quite a bit just because I have a couple of brand deals that I'm doing. And then um, just editing videos. So we got a mixture of everything. We got some freelance work. We got some Hyper work. We got some content creation work. I'm working on the title cards for a vlog and if you haven't noticed, I pretty much use the same template every time but I just choose a different font. But it just says like, you know, starring, whoever. Um, and then like a general summary about what's in the vlog. And then an Odal production because my cat's name is Oatly. But yeah, what I typically do is I just take a screenshot of the still that I'm using and then pick a font just to make sure that the colors and everything look good over it. I'll take this photo and make sure it looks good here. So that's typically how my process goes for making those title cards that you see. So here we are, I added a little outline to it. I also changed up the order of some of the clips so that it's a little bit more readable. But yeah, I think we have an intro. On the weekend, me and Sinjin decided to go to some open houses. Why? Because we're delusional and we love touring million dollar homes. This first one was in Atwater Village and it had such a beautiful, cozy living room. Right beside the living room, they had this really cute green kitchen and it even opened out to this little backyard. The owners converted the garage to an office space and they clearly do some type of creative job. The second house was in Silver Lake and had these beautiful open windows, great natural light. It had a really nice kitchen that opened out to this really sick patio situation and it had a great view of downtown. This one was two stories and had so many windows, so it felt really, really big. I also just really enjoyed the bathrooms. Like, you know you're taking a really good, strong, hot shower in here. I think we preferred the second one to the first one, but both were really nice and both out of our price range. I got some exciting packages in the mail today. This is just a shirt and water bottle that I designed for Hyper Skin which is the skincare brand that I work with. I just did like a little custom lettering job for their water bottle. And they had an event this summer that required some volunteers to wear shirts. So we just thought it would be cool to design a nice, fun, branded shirt for them. This guy's like a banana. This one is a bird. This is like a bookworm. Something crazy happened. I'm in the closet for a reason, actually. I was watching Geek Girl on Netflix, and it's just this new show that came out. I'm on episode nine, and I got a little bit of a jump scare because the sweater I designed is there. It just made an appearance. Someone was wearing it. So yeah, let me let me show you the scene. She's actually a bully in the show and she is making fun of this girl and like how she dresses so like ouch and then literally a minute later this happens. <laughs> That's also a bummer but either way my sweatshirt is on Netflix. It's literally this one right here. Hold on I'm literally gonna get it. <laughs> like what? This is literally the sweater on Netflix. I don't even think it's for sale anymore but I guess that makes sense they probably filmed it last year. One of my favorite things about LA is all of the cool pop-ups that you just happen upon sometimes. This one was at Century City and it was a bunch of immersive experiences around some prime TV shows. They showed renderings of the scenes from Fallout, which is a show based on a video game. They also had some of the wardrobe on display, they gave out popcorn, and they even had these huge scripts from different shows and episodes to turn through. But yeah, it was a good time, it all felt very LA to me. 
I'm not gonna lie, I love them all. I love going into the little dressing rooms. This one had like five different light settings. I set some pretty loose rules and expectations around trying to reduce my screen time, but it actually ended up working out pretty well. I was averaging less than an hour a day, and honestly, I've been trying to keep it to around that same time ever since. It's so obvious, but spending time away from your phone makes you way more present. It just allows you to enjoy experiences more fully, and it just feels way better. Anyway. I hope this encourages you to try it out for yourself, would highly recommend. This actually marks my first full year in LA, and I can't believe it's already been a year, but I'm just really grateful for all of you. Thank you so much for following along, for leaving comments, for watching, sending you a big hug, and I'll see you soon.